Well, here we are. Tuesday night. What better things to do than build a humongous planter box? Yeah, so they wanted a planter box that was uh, 72 inches, uh, you know, six feet. But unfortunately, uh, you know, pickets only come up 72 inches, but they have dog ears on them. So a whole plank is, if you want a solid plank, you don't even get 72 inches, you get 71 inches. And then uh, you also have this this corner, which adds five eighths on each side. And then you want you typically, you know, you want your, um, that's a dog ear right there, look at that. Uh, you typically want, you know, your border piece to overhang a little bit. So then there's another, I think what I added. So I added five eighths to, you know, I took, basically 71 inches then I took away 5 eighths times 2 which is an inch and a quarter then I want about maybe a quarter inch overhang I mean probably maybe not that much I don't know but anyway I, I think I gave myself another take another half inch off so basically cut these things down they're about 69 inches long I think I don't know you can do the math it's kind of late for me but the interesting thing is they also wanted it to be a deep box and they wanted it to be about 20 inches wide. So it's got three planks um, height and it's 20 inches wide. I'm pretty sure that you put dirt in this thing, you're probably gonna want some center support. So I will be adding that. And I wanted to show, so this is the case of, um, I, I, let me see how many got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's 12 20 inch planks for the bottom. Um, unfortunately, though, there was a you know, a couple of little there was a, a gap, and so I happen to have some pieces laying around that allowed me to and get it out of there I added a sliver onto the end so basically cut it to fit in the gaps glued it on one edge and then nailed it in so basically quickly joined the sliver to the board just to kind of make it try to find one that um, matches you know the board you're nailing it to so it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb uh, it's not perfect there can you find the other one where's, where's the other one can you see it well if you guessed right here you were correct and, uh, that one's pretty good I think pretty that's nice, pretty good but yeah there's a joint there so that's what we did little tricks I learned from the master who's the boss but yeah this is a, gonna be a humongous box and they want three of them they're probably undercharged but how much you think I could get for a box that's 20 inches wide about 15 inches deep on the inside and almost six feet long uh, I'm pretty damn sure I undercharged on this one all right well I got to get the back to work here